Hello, everybody. Welcome to some Wednesday couch cosmetics. Okay, I'm not in my car right now because it is imperative to be in some natural lighting. Okay, um, I got something really exciting today in the mail, like super exciting. Hi, Karen. Wait till you see what I got. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've been listening to CNN on the radio. I normally listen to NPR, but I don't know. Lately, I've been listening to CNN. And hi, Rachel. And when I listen to CNN, they're constantly, there's commercials, which is like really annoying. I think that's why I love NPR, because there's like no commercials. Um, anyways, I've been listening to CNN, and I keep hearing the commercials for not only that, what's that Z product? There's some sort of like... Um, sleep product, which I don't even know what it is. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Andrea. Um, what is it? Z-Pack or Zipa? What is it called? Zipa or something? Why are you covering your eyes, Karen? Um, anyways, there is a commercial on CNN that cracks me up. And Zika? Is that it? What is it? No, Zika is the virus. <laughs> what the hell is it called? It's something. No, Zequil. Is that what it is? Zequil? Lindsay is telling me it's Zequil. Hey, Renee. Okay. Anyways, I hear those. I don't even know what it is. They keep talking about it. Z-Quil. Get your Z-Quil now. Do you have a snore in your life? That guy drives me nuts. That commercial, I always want to change the channel. But I do not. I don't change the channel. Sounds like it might be a pill. Z-Quil. Anyways. So, fast forward to when I heard a commercial for Madison Reed. No, not Zoloft. I think it's Z-Quil. I heard a commercial with a discount, like a coupon for Madison Reed. Have you heard of Madison Reed? Where else do I see this stuff? Not only a commercial, do they do commercials? Or maybe, no, hello, party people. It's in my Facebook feed. I get the sponsored ads that target me directly and that is where I see the Madison Reed stuff. And they always show these women like getting their like gloves on and stuff and they're like changing their hair color. Well, I'm not that crazy because I actually did watch the video and they really went at it and it seems like a lot of work and I've never been one of those people to color my own hair okay I go get to the professionals I leave my hair color to the pros okay so I go every I don't know three months or something and sometimes I need to go in between to get what's called like a base break well I've been a little lazy okay summertime I think my hair is gonna naturally lighten and I think my roots are gonna like naturally white or lighten. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Hi, Robin. So anyway, so I was listening to CNN and I heard an actual, it's so easy. Okay, well, Karen, you can do it for me because I've never done that before. I've never colored my hair before. I've never done, who else colors their hair? Come on now. Really, you do this like your own, by yourself? Hi, Laura. Who colors their hair by themselves? Can I get like a hello? Like put like a me in in the comment if you've ever colored your hair by yourself. Besides Miss Karen. Has anyone else colored their hair? I have not. I used to live with a girl actually in Atlanta and she used to color her hair, which is kind of funny now that we're thinking about it. She used to drink um, strawberry milk, which was odd. And she used to color her own hair. Yeah, all about the hairdresser, totally. Totally about the hairdresser. Hi, Tara. Hi, Stacy. Okay, we are talking about hair coloring today, and I want to know who out there has like the guts to color their own hair. Like Stella wanted her hair blue, and I went to CVS and I bought this like hairspray stuff, and it was horrible. It was like super sticky. Like we sprayed it to be blue. She wanted it for the JDRF walk, which is so sweet, right? Hey, Patty. Um, she wanted blue hair because JDRF is blue. And um, so I bought this hairspray and I'm like, well, this is gonna wash off. Anyways, it turned her hair like super like rock solid, hard, and it was horrible. I returned it and that was like $9. And I'm like, mm -mm, that did not work. It was kind of glittery, it was horrible. Anyways, that's as far as I've gone for hair coloring is putting blue in my daughter's hair. So anyways, okay, I've never colored hair. It looks like, oh, Rachel, she tones her hair sometimes. Okay, well, you also are professional at like makeup and things too. So I think you qualify. Anyways, I digress. I heard the commercial for Madison Reed. Hey, Nicole. And it was a discount. It was a coupon, right? Like if I hear coupon or sale, I'm all about it. So guess what came in the mail? <laughs> it 
that's my Madison Reed. I took like this quiz, okay? I took the quiz to figure out what color would be perfect for me. Yes, I know I gotta get the color chalk. Um, and supposedly this color, uh, what color is it? Does it even tell me on here? It comes with a little card and a little box, okay? And it's Root Touch Up because I have grays. And this is like the one thing that sucks about getting old, okay? I don't know how many of you, and this is another thing, how many of you sit at the stoplight and do this? My sister-in-law does that in the car. If I'm driving, my sister-in-law goes like this, and she pulls like her hair out, like grays and everything else. I have been caught many times going like this and pulling out the grays, and I know that's a bad thing to do. But anyways, as you can see, check out my roots. This is what I do to my hairdresser. I take a picture and I say, SOS, help. Like, check that out, that is so bad. And it kind of looks like there might be some highlights there. No, 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 that's grays. Those are grays, those are grays. So I have like a line. So instead of going to the salon, we are trying, hi Elise, we are trying something new. We are trying our Madison Reed right here. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the box. First time, this is always a first time for everything. Okay, it's very small. I probably should have went through this beforehand, but as you all know, I like to try things for the first time live, because that's more fun. Oh, it's cute, it's kind of like, um, like a compact. Let me open this. Oh. oh, how cute. It says, hello, beautiful, right here. <laughs> hello, beautiful. All right, so that's it. It gives you a little brush, and it gives you two colors right there. So I have two colors, and we're going to go to town and see if this works. Okay, what does it tell me? It tells me, uh, brush on pinoli uh, to soften dark roots and camouflage grays. How do I know which color is pinoli? Madison Reed Root, root Touch-Up Duo Blonde. Oh, Cascada slash Pinoli. All right, I'm gonna assume that's the dark one here. I'm gonna assume it's the dark one, I have no idea. Oh, no, you know why I know that? Because it says use Cascada to cover dark roots and hi add highlights. Okay, so let's see. And then I think you can blend them too. It says something about blending. So, just like any good makeup, blend, blend, blend. Okay, this is makeup for the hair. Okay, blend the two together to match your color perfectly. Okay, well we're gonna start with this, this one right here, the darker one. Okay, we put some on the brush. And we're gonna start right here. Um, this is not my color. Nope, no, 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 no. That is like a bronzer. <laughs> Uh, that, let me try that one more time, but it's like I'm putting bronzer on my head. This is not working. Hold on. Can you see the chalk? Like you can kind of see. No, you can't tell, dude. That did not work. No. No, 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 no. All right, let's go to the other one. Let's just highlight my hair, shall we? We are going to highlight it with um, Cascada. We're going to highlight. Let me clean my brush. Okay, now I'm going into this light color here called Cascada. Okay, this is gonna be it, I know it. Now again, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I, again, I don't read directions, I just go for it. If it's not intuitive, it's hard to use, right? Okay, I don't know, I'm not, no, do we, are we seeing any difference yet? I mean, I'm really going at it here. Oh man, I am so upset. Hmm. I'm just keeping going back into that cascada. I'm cascadaing my my hair. This is a joke. <laughs> Dude, that ain't doing anything. This is like the light one. This is the light one right here. I'm really gonna go in there. Like, let's do a little more. And it says it's good until your next shampoo. Well, you can see a little bit, but not really. Like, this is not working. I wonder if I wet it. This is a joke. This is a total joke. This does not work, people. Do not get sucked in by those commercials. Don't, don't. CNN and those commercials, paid, paid advertising for no reason. Even if I combine the two, let's try combining. 
See how it all fluffing into the air? Oh, there we go. There's a little bit more. But that's not really truly covering anything up. I'm covering my scalp. Like if you could see, it's like my scalp, but not the hair. Wet it. I know, I don't have, oh, I do have some water right here. Oh, I mean, it's my lemon water. Do you think that's okay? Let's do it, let's do it. I'm gonna stick my brush in my lemon water. Not drinking that anymore. Okay, now I have a wet brush. And now we are gonna try the light blonde one because I think that's my color. Oh yeah, look, it's like painting. All right, here we go. I keep working on this, this same spot. Oh no, that's worse. <laughs> that's worse. No, that did not work. That did not work. It just made it look worse. This is a fail. This is a total fail. Do not waste your money. Do not waste your money. Wet, dry, this stuff is false advertising, in my opinion. In my opinion. So if anyone else has ever tried Madison Reed and it works, let me know. But this did not work. All right, that's it. I'm calling my hairdresser. That's it. That's it. I'm calling my hairdresser. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for joining. It was so much fun trying that new live. And um, I don't know. Not my, not my recommendation, but if you can do it and you can prove it to me, maybe I was doing it wrong. I should have read instructions, but I'll read those next. Anyways, all right, everyone, have an awesome, awesome night. And it might work better on a brunette. You're right, Rachel, it might. Maybe just to cover up the grays. But then the, why do they do blonde ones though? All right, that's it. Peace out, people, peace out. Go see your hairdresser. <laughs> okay, bye.